Garrett. It's been probably two years since we installed the United Pacific headlights and their taillights and these great side mirrors on your truck. What has your impressions been so far now that you've actually had a chance to use them for like two years now? They've been fantastic. Um, you know, the mirrors are been fantastic because when there's a car on the side of me, I put my blinker on, they know I'm going to be moving over with the taillights. You know, they got the, uh, they're very bright mm -hmm. in the back and my brake lights, you know, a lot of people can see me a lot better. Yeah. The headlights, that's night and day difference. I mean, um, I can stay at the car shows a little bit longer. I, uh, you know, friends of mine, they end up leaving early, mm -hmm. you know, yep. um, from the car show because they, because of the visibility. Yeah, some of these classic cars. cars, the lights just yep. ain't as bright as what we're used to nowadays. Yes, and you know, a lot of my friends have these, uh, the Chevy C10s, and um, they want to get these products, and actually some of them have actually bought some of the product. Awesome, yeah, I know these, these mirrors, they look every bit like the factory originals, but they've got that little stealth, a little uh, yes. LED arrow in them that shows that gives an indication that your car is changing lanes or you intend to change lanes. Added safety feature plus yes. a good restoration part, you know? It's a yeah, they're identical to the factory original. The factory original. And you, yep. those headlights, I know when we installed them, and you know, a lot of times we install parts on video and it's sort of like you wonder, I wonder if this is going to hold up down the road. Now that you've got two years on that nice looking set of United Pacific headlights. Yep. You're there. You say they're bright. How bright are they? Oh, um, extremely. I mean, I can, if I put my high beams on, I can see a couple blocks ahead where the, the, the lights or the signs are reflecting. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's. And I, and I know from my own experience, you know, that in cars with the LED lights on them, yes. especially these United Pacific ones, they are bright. You know, you don't expect it. You know, you kind of think, well, yeah. it's an LED. How bright can that be? They're pretty insanely bright. Yes. No, they're uh, very good. I've been very impressed with them. And in the taillights, you say those, I know with the first time you pulled in here, they were, those LED tail are the, your regular stock taillights. They were kind of dim and red. Yep. And uh, now it's like when you pulled in here today, they're still bright. You know, yes. you really notice when you hit the brake light. Yes. Yeah, no, they've been uh, real good. And as good as all those United Pacific parts were on your truck, this C10 would look a lot better with some new LED side marker lights. And, and I know you've complained the, about your backup lights before. Yes, my, my backup lights, you know, I back into my garage and sometimes I have to turn my cargo light on just so I can see um, when I'm backing up. So it's... Well, uh, fortunately, uh, you know, United Pacific makes a great, you know, great side marker light and great new LED backup lights for these as well. So let's finish the job and get them installed on your C10 now. That sounds great. Okay, now with the side marker lights, they're pretty easy to do. There's just two screws, two screws on here. You just pull those out. Let's see. Get those out and they just twist twist out and there went my clip and what you'll have to do is if you notice there's one for a ground here and that's usually just underneath the uh, the little terminal here and you'll just have to cut these here and you can add the, the new uh, marker lights on okay now after you get the wire strip let's get that uh, get the connectors that they supply and we'll get that put on here. And then you got to get the, uh, before you crimp it, you want to make sure that you get both ends in here. And Mark, if you could hold this here for me to the, while we get this crimped. Uh, the weight has grown. Hmm? 
I believe the white is the ground wire here. So we want Oh, the, the black the black is the hot wire. The black is the hot wire. And the white is the ground. And then the red is the turn signal light. Right. Which is kind of a nice addition to Oh, it just crimped on one side. So now you got to make sure you get the other side crimped. Okay. All right, now with these ends here too, they're also um, heat shrink. Yep. So we can uh, just kind of hit the heat gun on there and, and uh, shrink, shrink those up. That'll keep the water out of the connection, and yep, that'll keep it um, weather weather tight, so it doesn't get uh, corroded. And now you have to do the same thing with the with the ground wire. Um, the ground wire, you have to cut that off of the of the bulb, and uh, make sure it gets secured back under the uh, the terminal there. Yeah, in these early C10s, it's kind of unusual. You know, you think nowadays everything's in the wiring harness, and then they used to ground a lot of stuff to the body back then. Yes. Whoops. Whoops, you're not on the crimp here. You've got to be in the valley. And we'll heat shrink these here. Do a little tug, make sure everything tight. Looks yes. Good. Nope. Give a little tug, it's still, we got to crimp her out a little bit farther. Yep, she's good. We'll get that one heat shrinked up. Now the red light, or the red wire here, you can tie that into the uh, um, your turn signal on the back, which which will make this here just it just gets brighter when your blinker goes off. Actually, your side marker lights will will blink too. So, and you can uh, tie that in. You just gotta get what wires for the back if you um, want to do that. So then you'll have to slide this down and, and get her up into the, uh, in to figure out the blinker side there. Right now here. from the factory they have a little rubber gasket here and you want to make sure that you get that back on and it just kind of adds for uh, a little cushion with the, uh, with the blinkers or with the side marker lights. Go ahead. Okay, now that we have it installed, we'll test the lights. Mark, can you turn the lights on? Sure. There you go. So you can see that they're a lot brighter than what the factory ones are. With the factory ones, they only light up at the top, and the bottom one is actually just a reflector. Wow, so, that's a big difference. You know, you're looking yep. even at the other side and the other light. This is bright. Yes. No, it's uh, going to be a big improvement. Well, with that, let's move, you know, we'll finish up the side marker lights and move on to the backup light next. That sounds great. Okay, now with the rear backup lights here, you just got to pull out the two screws. Okay, now we get the lens out. You can see I had LED bulbs in here, but they still were not very bright at all. They have the same type of connector as the uh, other bulbs that I had. And they're pretty simple to do. You just get those in there and and now they put a little groove in there to push that in and turn it. Make sure she's secured in there. And we'll get this back in. And we'll put screws back in it. All right. Now that we get all, get it mounted, we'll have uh, we'll have Mark turn the light on. Sure. And we'll see how they work. And boy, you can tell, that's a lot better than what they were. You'll be able to see when you're backing up. Now that we have uh, the other side installed, we'll have Mark turn the lights on and see how they work. Sure. Boy, that's a lot better. 
you'll definitely be able to see. Mark, why don't you try putting the, uh, the tail lights on? Yep. All right, why don't you hit the brakes once? Boy, that's huge now that you have all that LED lights in the back. Mark, why don't you take a look at this? Sure. Wow, wow, that is a lot brighter than it used to be, you know? Yes. Before they just kind of had a little glow, but now they're just insanely bright. You know, and I think that's, you know, a good point to make is that, you know, even though this had like LED bulbs in there before, you know, it, 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 you had the reliability and the long life, but you didn't have the brightness in that. Now with a full LED panel, you've got like insane brightness there. Yes, you'll definitely be able to see where you're backing up. And you don't have to worry about, you know, replacing bulbs because these are going to last a long time. Yep. That's uh, one thing about LEDs is they'll, they'll probably last the, uh, as long as I have the truck. And if you do have problems, you know, that's the great thing is United Pacific stands behind their products. You know, with lifetime warranties on a lot of their LED lighting products, mm -hmm. you know that if you ever have any problem down the road, you can get a hold of them and they'll replace it for free. So it's worth, you know, it's worth the investment in a good set of LED lights, not only for the brightness, clarity, and safety, and reliability, but down the road, you know you've got a company that's behind you. Yes, and it doesn't take long to install them. Well, and, you know, there you have it. You know, in a matter of a couple of hours, you know, we've gone through, upgraded the, the lighting components on this truck that we didn't get to on the first time, but now... Now it's gonna, it's done and we can enjoy the truck for years to come. Yes.